Kia ora, and welcome to Baha'i On Air. I'm Raman Rehani. In today's world, the youth are receiving a lot of bad press. Crime, substance abuse, and a decreasing moral standard develop a common negative image of the youth. However, as always, there are two sides to every story. And in the case of the youth, it is often the positive side that we miss out on hearing. In this program, we will feature a documentary which looks at the active role that the youth are playing in today's world. It also examines the effect that the Baha'i Inspired Virtues Project is having on the youth, empowering them to listen to the language of the virtues, such as assertiveness and confidence, and so that they can resist the mold that many fall prey to. We hope you enjoy this program. Everyone has inside of him a piece of good news. The good news is that you don't know how great you can be, how much you can love, what you can accomplish. And Frank. How is it with all that potential, today's teenagers are so often labeled as bad news? Yeah, yeah, teenagers, um, everybody thinks that we're all bad and we're all dangerous. Like, I've been into pharmacy lots of the time and people will follow me around the store because they think I'm going to steal something. And so I just leave, I don't buy anything because it's uncomfortable and I don't want to be followed around the store. It's like ageism. It's totally like another ism. It's another prejudice that people have. They look at you different and stuff like that. You're just not like equal. I guess like just people forget about they were a teenager once too. I don't know, like when I'm walking down the street, sometimes there'll be an elderly couple and they're walking down the same side of the street as me and they'll switch sides and I'm just like, What's the story there? Like, why? I don't, I don't see it. And um, just because we're young, they, they think that we're dangerous and we do drugs and stuff like that, but we don't. <laughs> they treat us like we're different and because one, one youth has done something bad, every single youth in the world is going to do the same thing and they cannot be trusted. The Edge is a youth group for teens in grades 10 through 12. The Edge draws between 100 to 150 teens from the community. It's the only time where our youth group has ever been in the paper here uh, was when we had a big fight outside. There was a big brawl because there was some person who came along and tried to fight with us. The media came along and tried to make a big scene of that, but rarely do they come here on a regular night and say, what's positive going on here? What goes on here on a normal night? What are normal teens interested in? How are they developing? The media avidly reports cases of violence in our schools. Seldom the good news. Even our parents learn from newspapers and from one another what to expect when their beloved child becomes a dreaded teen. I remember when our children were very small and people talked about the terrible twos. And so I was a new parent thinking, oh, okay, these people know because they've been through this. But it didn't happen. Instead, what happened was this little two-year-old wonder creature began to speak. And it was so exciting. It was wonderful. It was, I think, probably the most wondrous period of my life. And so as they approached teen years, and I would hear other people saying, oh, teenagers, oh, you have daughters, oh, poor guy. I just wasn't willing to listen.